moving day is always fun, isn't it? This is a big move, a cross country move. And um, I'm ready. Thank you, Lord, for a high powered dad and a high powered uncle because I need some manpower today. I have um, at least 24 boxes and a love sack that I need to carry and uh, deliver to Amtrak. So we're gonna see how this goes. Enjoy. Some money. So what I'm going to do is try Amtrak Express shipping. Amtrak Express shipping allows you to put multiple boxes and items on the train. You don't have to write it and you ship it down to the place that you're going, your destination, and then they hold it for you for at least 48 hours before they start charging you. So it's a pretty affordable service. I found some people recommending it even here on YouTube. So um, I'm gonna show you the process of moving from items in Chicago to the Union Station downtown in Abtrack. One of the things that's keeping me organized is having a chart. I marked on my boxes the number and then what's in the box so I know what room they need to go in and how to weigh them when it's time to go to the Amtrak station. Because in case you didn't know, Amtrak does do the shipping, but there's a limit per item. So each box has to be no more than 50 pounds. So we tried with what we could with luggage bags and luggage meters, try to weigh it at how many pounds we had, but we really need to get a real scale. So that's my recommendation. If you don't have one already, get a scale and create a moving box chart so you know how much and what is in each of your bags and boxes. This has been one of my favorite travel hacks is using vacuum storage bags. I got these from Amazon and they come in jumbo, extra large, large and medium. So you can put your clothes in here and save you space. Now the goal is to fill it up to a certain line on the bag, zip it tight, and open up the valve so that you can use a vacuum or a shop vac to suck all the air out and make it flat. Four years of school to get to college. Four years of that for a degree. knowledge than it is to master me but I'm making this my graduation party it took a while for me to make it there when I showed up the ceremony started I threw my cap up in the air Ooh. the okay from the Amtrak police we have to go down this ramp and go down a series of right turns so this is gonna be fun trying to figure out where we are mm -hmm. I just took all my speeds just to look through the car
to get to the maximum, which is 500 pounds. They had to put everything on this dolly and um, subtract the weight of the actual dolly from the total over here. So we had to take off a couple of packages so we can get this amount. They were giving me a hard time about my baby. She's only 46 pounds, but this is not the proper way to move a love sack, guys. You need to get the shrink kit. Otherwise, you're gonna have this giant ball that you have to carry around everywhere. So, we took the elevator up to the Amtrak station to baggage check in. And you notice they got tags on each one of the boxes? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. The tags on each one of the boxes. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we're back outside. Wow. That's so exciting. Yeah, so that's everything. Wow, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. cool. so Man, this has been around for years. Dude. They've been doing this stuff. We didn't know about that. I know. So shout out to my uncle and dad for helping. Hey. Yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if we ever have to do this again, we know where to go. Exactly. <laughs> Lauderdale. Florida life. <laughs> Florida life, yes. So all my stuff is here. Yay! It looks like it's all intact. Wait, I'm missing my baby. My baby. So it looks like they got everything on one giant pallet. This is the biggest wheelbarrow ever. And I want one. And I want one of these. Life, real life goals. Get a golf cart. See this thing? Mm. Here's my ride and my help. Thank you, Selenor. Oh, I don't think we have a tarp. <laughs> Why the guys try to figure this out? I literally had to put on my rain plastic because this is what Florida life is like. I already know. I've visited here plenty of times and without fail it rains, especially during hurricane season, which is during the summer. So here I am at the Amtrak station trying to get all my stuff into here. So we're on our way to the U-Haul to get a tarp. There's back guy sitting <laughs> Um So we need to cover our stuff because um, it's going to rain. Great. So I would recommend a U-Haul. Actual truck. Everywhere. So all my stuff is in here and we have to get a tarp for it. Oh, you got the roof? Can I come with them? Mm hmm Everything that fit in the truck. Shout out to the friendly folks at the Fort Lauderdale Amtrak station, including Platini or Platine who helped us today. So that's it. Everything worked out. We got it did rain severely when we were coming back with all the stuff. And now it's time to move everything upstairs. As you can see, everything is everything and accounted for. Come through Amtrak. So if you guys have never considered saving money by shipping your stuff across country, really consider Amtrak if you have a station in your hometown. Or I've also heard that the Greyhound does the same thing. So basically save yourself some money, save yourself some time, and check it out if you need to do a long distance move like I did. All right, take care. 